Hey there everyone, it's Mr. Stuff Stuff, and today's complete set video will be slightly different than some previous ones that I've done in the past. I'm actually going to show the purchases, and then I'll just go straight to the binder, everything filled in. This is a short set, being Detective Pikachu, only 25 cards. I haven't included any of the promos or anything. I did not purchase any of the sealed product back when this set first came out in uh, 2019, you know, of course, in parallel with the movie. Overall, all the cards within this set are less than a dollar, except for, I think, the rares, and then the Charizard, of course, is the most valuable. If there's any values over a dollar, I'll be sure to put it down below with the correspond corresponding card. And I'll actually have maybe if some of the more interesting sealed product, at least the pack price uh, that Detective Pikachu is currently going at. But I will start out with the Bulbasaur. I got all of these from my LGS for $25. You may be thinking, like, oh, you know, that's a lot. It's like $1 per card and majority is commons. Try to find this complete set online, or I guess you could get the individual packs and you could probably finish the set with individual packs, but the price of individual packs versus pulling everything, because I mean half the set's like rares or a little over half the set or less than half the set. Um, it'll be difficult, and I'm saying $25 is a good price. You try to find them online on eBay, they're going for $50, $60 plus. And I feel like that's a little extra, but this set was so simple, and one of my goals this year is to complete 10 sets, so this is an easy set I thought to knock out. It was on my mind for a while, but I finally decided to pull the trigger, went through the decades, they had a bulk box, and I found at least one of every single card. So, you should be able to find the commons pretty easily, but the rares, these will be the tricky ones to kind of find if you try to go to people's bulk places, because it might be a little bit more difficult with the commons, pretty easy. Every card is worth over 10 cents, though, at least on TCG players, so that's not too bad. Um... Yeah, overall, I thought this set was weird. This is the most expensive card in the set. I believe it's $8. It's not a bad-looking card. I try to get this one in decent condition. I think all these are at least lightly played. Maybe some near mint. Yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. You can tell it's been in a box, just based off some of the wear. But that's not too bad. The Arcanine. Very interesting artwork. I did enjoy the movie. I put it off for a long time watching the Detective Pikachu movie, because I just thought it looked weird. And then I actually watched it, and I did really enjoy it. So it's, it's worth a watch. Got the Magikarp. We have the Greninja. This is actually the last one I needed to find within the bulk box. It took a while to find it, and that is a very realistic-looking Greninja, which is kind of terrifying. Of course, we have the Detective Pikachu. There's a lot of different Detective Pikachu, so make sure if you're buying these, you make, you make sure you get the set card, because there's a bunch of different Detective Pikachu promos, different artworks. Mr. Mime, another rare, like the troll of the movie, but still interesting. The Mewtwo. That is an intense artwork. Real-life Mewtwo is pretty jacked with that side jack we have the machamp just chilling direct directing traffic i would follow machamp's directions that's for sure i would not mess with machamp got jigglypuff of course lead singer snubble chill snubble chill got the lick a tongue okay we have the ditto this one's pretty cool i like this this is not even my favorite card within the set i really like the artwork on this one and it goes really well with the hollow foil and then the final one is this slaking, just chilling. Really creepy, but that's slaking, you know, in IRL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleeve up all these cards, add them onto my app, and then put them in the binder, and we'll just look at the pages, and that should be the end of this video. All right, now we can actually get on with the set in the binder. So I actually used my Shining Legends binder because it's in the Sun and Moon era, but it did not take up a ton of space in this 360-card binder, or pocket binder. But here's the whole set. If I mentioned that, if I said it was 25 cards, I'm dumb. It's only 18. I could have just read the card. And it is very pleasing just being able to all be on this one page. It's very nice. Um, I'm not going to go through the individual cards because I already did that during my purchase portion. I paid $25. You only find these online for like maybe some 40s, 40 plus. But like all of these, I would say 12 out of these are in near mint condition and the rest are in lightly played condition. But all the rares are in good condition, which is those are the ones that I was picky about because the commons, I mean, as long as I have them for the set, I'm happy. I'm not going to get like damaged ones, but you know what I mean. Overall, it was a fun set to collect. Took one day. Um, let me know if you have a complete set of this. Let me know if you opened up any Detective Pikachu back in the day. I mean, the Charizard being, you know, eight bucks and it's just like the rare pull or like a hollow pull. I mean, everything's hollow in this set, but... It's not bad. Um, the set came out on 29 March of 2019. So in a little bit, it'll be four years old. I'm not saying that these these cards will skyrocket, but way back I did do a value discussion on these where I discussed the cards individual value as well as the graded value. 
And you'd be surprised at some of the prices that these go for. Apparently these are kind of difficult to grade. And I think a lot of people just kind of put them to the wayside. So not a lot of people were like super taking care of them. Hence me finding all these cards just in a box sifting around. But overall, fun set to complete. Nox went off the list for this year, which is very good for me because I love just making progress on my list and crossing things off and moving on to the next objective. That is all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys thought or think of this set. Is it hideous? Is it cool? Is it just meh? Let me know and I'll catch y'all in the next one.